The toolbar and menu controls for WPF fully support runtime layout persistence, meaning you can customize the menus and toolbars in your application and save that layout to a data store for future use. The data store can be a memory stream or an external XML file. In this video, we'll create a standard toolbar and menu layout system and explore the several possible ways to persist the layout to a data store, as well as load them back into the application. So let's get started. I'll start with a WPF Windows application project. You can see that I've already prepared the application by creating the necessary bars and items. Here's the XAML markup. The icons for the bar items are located in the Images Icons folder of the WPF project. To demonstrate multiple ways to persist the layout, I'm going to add some buttons at the top of the application. I'll start by creating a stack panel and set the orientation, margin, height, and grid row properties accordingly. I'll populate it with five button controls. Let's go ahead and create new handlers for their click events. I switch back to the designer, and you can see the buttons are displayed side by side at the top of the application. I'll switch to code view to create the code required to persist the layout. I'll add several assembly references that I'm going to need throughout the application. Next, I'll create a new stream object. In the pages initializer, let's add the following code. Here, the serialization ID for the bar manager is set so that the layouts of bars can be saved at runtime. Now let's move on to the first button that will be used for saving the layout to a memory stream. You can see from the code that the save layout to stream method of the bar manager is called to save the layout settings to the memory stream. The user will then be notified via a message box that the layout was saved successfully. I'll add the code for the load memory buttons click event. Here, the restore layout from stream method is called to load the layout saved to the current memory stream. Remember that you can implement further checks to make sure the layout has been saved before attempting to load the stream, which may or may not be empty. However, to keep this demo simple, I'm leaving out such checks to focus solely on the persistence functions. Now let's move on to the load external buttons click event handler. As I mentioned in the beginning, you can save bar layouts to external files as well as load them at runtime. In this case, I've already copied an existing layout definition file to the project, which you can see referenced in the code here as layout3.xml. This file will be loaded using the restore layout from stream method. Make sure that the layout file's build action property is set to be included as an embedded resource. As content, you'll not be able to load the file as demonstrated in this example. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see it in action. Here it is. The bars and items, as well as the buttons for persisting and loading the layouts on the top of the page. Let's give it a try. I'll start by saving the current layout to memory. You can see the message box telling me the layout was saved successfully. I'll change the layout and click to restore the original layout from memory. Now I'll go ahead and load the layout from the external XML file. The layout is instantly updated. I can further customize the menus and toolbars. Let's return to the original layout that was persisted to memory. To learn more about DX bars and layout persistence, please refer to the documentation on the web. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.